Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emily. If you are a returning subscriber, you, friend, are my favorite person. You don't even know it yet. So, I've just completed my vlog, but I realized I didn't do an intro for this vlog. So, here goes my days in the life. Guys, so it's currently at uh, 7 and I passed by the mall. I wanted to get a few things that I didn't have as well as check out uh, Homebox. Homebox is um, more of like a home decor store and they opened one at the hub. So I passed by there to see if I can find some cute things, you know. So at the hub, I got, um, I got these uh, geisha soaps that I want to try out it's the geisha african strength the green one and yeah i think this is the black charcoal one i'm not too sure i just want to give them a try if they are and see how that goes i also got spoons i don't know why i lose spoons and i live alone it's it's it just beats logic but hey i also bought extra kitchen tissues I also got um, soap. This is the soap that I'm currently using for my face. It's the Micellar Sensitive Skin Soap. So the last time I went uh, to do my monthly shopping, I didn't find them. So I bought these two. Yeah, there's that. This is a um, hand wash antibacterial for my kitchen. I also got uh, these. These are for my plants, for watering my plants. I also got, um, I've been looking for these uh, tall glasses and I also have the habit of buying glasses in twos which I want to stop so I got these tall glasses, this is what they look like so I got four of them, yup, so that's that, the four of them, okay, let me put that aside Mm -hmm. I also got a uh, pineapple flavor essence. I'd run out of that. I can buy Chevda as well. And uh, I also got all these coffee sachets. And I'm going to show you how exactly I plan on organizing these. Okay? Because I bought some storage thingy from Homebox that I want to store these coffee sachets. It's a mixture of various types of uh, coffee so that's that so um, so this is the name of the store it's called homebox and from homebox i got um this flower vase flower vase that looks very classy and it was well priced so this is what it looks like 24 900 shillings i also saw some nice rose uh, artificial flowers but when i tell you one stem was going for 1400 shillings that's not that was not within my budget so i didn't get those although i can tell you for sure i'll keep thinking about them because they they went really well with this flower vase but we'll see, we'll see. Maybe Mungu atanfungulia njia and pate pesa. I go and buy them. So this flower vase for 900 shillings, which I think is a steal for me. Okay, let me put it aside. From Homebox, I also got um, this. This is a cutlery storage box, but I'm going to store the coffee sachets and tea bags here and then put them in one of my drawers. But don't worry, I'll show you how that turns out. That's what uh, I've gotten today, but there are some things that I would want to get from Homebox, but... Mm. Got a budget, got a budget. Let me organize this and then I'll show you probably tomorrow how this turns out so that's just about it so i'm also boiling this beef that i intend to make pilau with 
and i'm boiling it for um, six hours straight in low heat but don't worry we'll make the pilau my way together so i know i left this place saying i know i left saying that i'm cooking pilau but when i tell you immediately after that i got a work emergency call and when i tell you i have spent the last i think six or seven hours in a police station yeah i'm so tired i don't even think i can cook that pilau tonight I think I'll order food, but that depends on whichever restaurants are open. But it's okay, it's alright, it's alright. I think I'll make the pilau tomorrow, and then I think I'll see you guys tomorrow then. Alright guys, so I know I said I'm going to sleep, but fortunately, I found out on Glove that Galitos had not yet closed, so I was able to order dinner, which is this. I'm having a chips quarter there's a documentary that uh, i've been watching on netflix it's on governance in saudi arabia which is weirdly the type of stuff i sometimes love watching but then again you see when you mechoka i just had a shower and i'm in my pajamas so that's that but when you mechoka i don't think i can watch that documentary so i think i'm just going to find uh, a christmasy movie that does not need too much of my attention that i can eat while watching and probably scroll my phone as i'm doing it so yeah that's that so let me have my dinner as i watch something on netflix good morning guys so it's um what day is today it's saturday morning and I'm having breakfast, so that's plantain, sausages, and apple. I also want to have white coffee because it's quite interesting. And in case I didn't show you how the storage thing it turned out, that's how it turned out. Yeah, I think my camera is dirty, but um, that's it. I want to have coffee, instant coffee. So that's that. Let me pick hot water, which is that. So before I forget, a lot of you guys have been asking. <laughs> When I say a lot of you guys, I mean like two guys because I'm trying to cement my YouTube career. I've been asking about my kitchen under sink update. So that's it. It's not uh, entirely organized, but I can work with that. All right. So that's it. Most of the things here are just basically cleaning stuff. Nothing much going on. All right, guys. So I'm making lunch. And I started off with making kachumbari, which is basically red onions, uh, red bell pepper, um, tomato, dania, and um, freshly squeezed imported lemon, which is this, as well as dania and uh, sweet chili sauce. So I just chopped and mixed them all up, and I'm going to cover it, and I'm going to store uh, kachumbari there in the fridge the pilau so that it can chill as i make the pilau Alright guys, so sometimes when I'm making pilau, I usually put the rice first, sometimes I put the water first. Today I feel like putting um, the water first, so I'm going to show you how I do that. I put like a quarter cup 
of uh, water just to make sure that my potatoes will be cooked when my pilau is done so i'm going to add cumin a good amount that's like a three quarter tablespoon and then i'm going to put like one tablespoon of pilau masala yep that's enough i'll add a royco cube as well and a tablespoon of soy sauce i'll let that boil once it's boiled then i'll put the rice so i've added like a tablespoon of dark soy sauce i'm adding half a tablespoon of uh, of ginger paste because i don't think the ginger that i initially put will be enough so that's the mixture so i'm going to let it boil now and then i'll put the rice i forgot to show you guys but uh, uh i also added this just before the water started boiling it's really good when you're making pilau it gives so much flavor to your pilau so i'd recommend it So I don't usually cover my rice at this point I'll just reduce the heat and then when uh, it's about to dry up that's when I usually cover it so that it can cook kabisa kabisa right guys so that's the pilau I'm about to have that for uh, a late lunch or early dinner if you may that's my lunch that's uh, pilau kachumbari and avocado of course soda because the way my cravings are set up guys hey i need some deliverance and water so that's it quick and easy to make all right guys so i didn't want this vlog to end before i've talked to you guys about this hair as well as uh some hair that i have here Do you say some hair or some hairs which i hope that's money i hope that is someone who is about to pay anyway <laughs> i digress i'm back so i want us to talk about this beautiful hair that i have on as well as uh, some other beautiful hair that i have with me i started weaving in 2012 i think but i started wearing wigs in 2018 because of over processing my hair started noticing my hair was very weak so i took a break on that and started wigging I've got several wigs but over time I can tell you for sure I have not come across anything as good as this hair. Yeah. So this is Malaysian hair and it's sold to me by a very beautiful and wonderful lady called Jocelyn. I'm going to leave down her number on the description box so if you want to get yourself some good hair you can uh, check her out. She has very flexible payments. She sells raw and processed hair. And guys, the first tip to knowing if you are buying good hair is to just run your fingers through it. It should be easy. If you try to run your fingers through the hair that you want to buy and you find that rubber bumps like this, then that means it's not very good quality and it's not going to last you as long as you'd want to. Cuz let's just be honest, hair is an investment. <laughs> It's cuz cuz hair is really an investment. You don't want to spend your hard and coins on fake hair or hair that is not really sustainable in the long run. So, I'm going to show you guys some of the wigs that I've purchased from her. When I want my hair weave, she sells bundles as well. So, personally, I get my hair customized. So, what I do is most of the time I'm going to purchase bundles and then customize it into a wig. If there are only two people who can customize my wigs, that's my hairstylist. Her name is Naomi. The girl, and I'll leave her number below so that if you purchase bundles from Jocelyn, then Naomi can customize a wig for you. Jocelyn can also customize wigs for you, or you can just purchase bundles and then go and customize it into a wig, whichever way you like it. So, she was gracious enough to send me some bundles okay i hope you can see that child 
she was gracious enough to send me some bundles and guys this is where i store my hair all this is hair mannequins are expensive so i'm not really into buying mannequins plus i style my own hair so you know two feet okay so i'm going to show you this is a this was my first purchase from her don't worry i'm going to try it on and show you but this is the same hair that I've worn on my what's in my bag tag video. Don't worry, I'm going to wear it for you and show you. So this is my coat one. It's, this is a short 14 in four bundles. And one thing about me is I usually buy a lot of bundles because I am big on volume. I am very big on hair and I don't spending batisha na nywele because hair is expensive hair is very expensive so run your fingers through it you can see it's good quality hair it's also very easy to maintain i think i've washed this like thrice or four times and you can see it's still in a good condition honey so this is a, a shot in uh, 12 12 12 and 14 at the front yeah so that's how it looks like i also have another shot which is actually on offer so if i were you i'd run to her page she has a page on instagram called posh hair and wigs and i'm going to link it down below so that you can check out this is also on offer this is my coat hair this is the one that i'm likely to wear when i'm going to court don't worry i'm going to try it on in a few and then this is my medium length hair this is my medium length. This is in 16. This is the one that I have worn in my how to make a chicken salad and how to make tacos video. So this is the hair that I had on. This is uh, in 16 inches. And um, this short hair that I called my cut hair. You, for reference, you can check out my, I think it's my pizza video and my chicken wings video. This is the same hair that I have on. And the lady was gracious enough to send me a few bundles, which I can't wait to customize into my liking. So for example, there's this uh, 14 inches that she sent. So the hair comes like that. Like I said, guys, the key to knowing good hair is running your fingers through it. And you can see there are no bumps whatsoever. The hair is really good that's the texture and you don't need to purchase as many bundles as i do i think two or three bundles are enough let's check another one so this is a 16 inch bundle and like i said run your fingers through it run your fingers through it and you'll know if it's good hair that's how it looks like yeah so let me try on the other hair so that you can actually see what I'm talking about. So this one is uh, in 20 inches. It came as a straight. It came as a straight uh, wig. But let me tell you, I sat down at home and decided, what's the worst that could happen if I curled this hair? And guess what I did? I curled my straight hair. So I no longer have any straight hair, but I'm thinking of uh, weaving like a 16, 16, 16, 14, 14 like this into a wig to achieve like some wavy, nice vibe is what I want to achieve with these three bundles. These other bundles I'm going to customize into a wig. And guys, Jocelyn has very flexible payment in case I didn't mention that. For example, if um, like this wig is going for 15 Gs, yeah, this cut one, which is on offer, usually it's uh, about 18 to 20 K. So like this one, if it's 15 K, you don't have to like pay upfront 15 K. You can pay like five, five, five. And then as soon as you're done with your payment, she'll just give you the hair. Even for bundles, like uh, these 10 bundles is three uh, K. A bundle you can just talk to her and she will give you a flexible payment plan because you really don't have to break a bank when you're buying hair yeah so let me try out this because i feel like i have talked forever all right guys so this is the uh, first step is the coat hair this is the one that i go to court with and i haven't styled it 
in a while i'm looking at myself in the mirror and you can see it's still in a good condition so one thing about jocelyn one thing about jocelyn is she will sell you good hair and that's how it looks like at the back i hope you can see that because i think the light the lighting here is playing games with me so that's the first wig this is uh, the one that is on offer i think you can get this for 12 or 15k i'm not too sure but i'll confirm and i'll write the price of the court wig on the description box so if i were you i'd do what needs to be done with that information and guys remember you don't have to pay everything at a go she can allow you to pay in installments and as soon as you're done with your payment she will give you your hair in good condition so this was a wig actually i bought it from her as a wig for um 15k which is really a steal for good hair okay so up close that's how it looks like next up is uh my other short one that is uh, a bit voluminous than the court one so this was the first purchase and i wasn't too sure about the volume so i went in on volume but as you can see it's still in good condition i've had this for one year now and you can see it's still in good condition it's still voluminous that's how it looks at the back yeah and up close that's what it looks like it's the same video that mm -hmm. i have done what's in my bag tag with check all right so the next up is my medium length yeah so this is a 16 inches in three bundles and a closure it was also uh, customized for me by both jocelyn and uh, my hairstylist they both put work on this one because uh, i really wanted it customized to my liking so i had to do a few changes here and there but not too much so this is a uh, 16 in 13 inches that's that's how it looks like up close i have i washed it and styled it it's a bit it's not as uh, wavy as i'd want it to but you get but you get the idea that's what it looks like it's at the back and I can easily run my fingers through it. So yeah, that's that. And now as I'm wearing this one, then I can show you the first one that uh, I started filming with, the one that was a straight Diohi. You can see I can also run fingers through it. That's what it looks like. It's the one that uh, I have done the pork ribs with mashed potatoes video with. It's this one, I think it's a 20 or 22 inch. I'm not too sure, guys. I can't remember. I really, really, really do love it. Yeah, so that's that. So, guys, I think that's it. I'll see you tomorrow, which is my birthday. <laughs> All right, guys, see you tomorrow. Hi, guys. Today is Monday. It's my birthday, and I'm having a breakfast. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm in this beautiful, beautiful place. I've just had breakfast and I don't want to go home, I want to stay here. Alright guys, so I'm done. Having breakfast, I, what is it called? I was gallivanting in town. I was busy in town picking up my gifts and I've gotten home to a beautiful cake. Here it is. Some rosé child, some beautiful flowers and lilies too, chocolate. More chocolate, a card from somebody's son. <laughs> Another cake, child. And food, of course, because I'm starving. Gifts there. Everything is all over the place. And last but not least, I did some uh, 
semi-final, grocery shopping. So that's that. Masks as well as sodas and we to choose a new bag. So I guess that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.